Hey everyone, this is Phineas and welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about something on a browser called Arc. So as of right now, this browser is only available on Mac and it's awesome. Like I was a Safari user, but when I switched to Arc, it's just better than Safari. So as you can see, the tabs are on the side instead of at the top. And if you are a student and you have a Mac, you can easily get this browser. But if you are a student, then you might have to get on the waitlist or find an invite code somewhere. So they came out with an update today, and it's called Boosts 2.0. So with Boosts, you can customize web pages. So, you know, you can, a lot of browsers allow you to customize the browser itself, show, um, you know, have different colors for the tab sections. And Arc is no exception. Like you can see here, I have different colors. Uh, depending on which space it is. So in Arc, you can have multiple spaces. I have the personal space and the workspace. Why does OneDrive do that? But anyway, um, with this boost update, you can now actually have a customization for your web pages. And there are so many boosts made by people here. And you can actually create your own boost as well. So I haven't done this yet. So let's try it out. So you go here, you click this paintbrush. Then you go My Boosts, and here you can customize like the colors of the web page. So you can have multiple palettes. Uh, this is very cool. Oh, <laughs> you can even uh, kind of show how much they contrast. You can see it can still be black, but then the other things can be like green, like neon green. And then you can change the font as well. So I'll do Windings instead of uh, English. I'll do uh, Comic Sans. Actually, is this Comic Sans? I think this is Comic Sans. Or I'll do this horrible cursive font. <laughs> or I can just go back to my normal one. And this is just so cool. Actually, I want to try Times New Roman. Oh, this looks like uh, web pages before the CSS loads in. So when it, sometimes when the CSS doesn't load it on web pages, they come up as this because I think the default font for um, uh, HTML is a uh, Times New Roman, but then once the CSS loads it, it looks like that. Um, but I think I want to do Comic Sans just to annoy you guys. So you can change the font and everything, um, except the screenshots. Obviously, this will still be the normal font. Um, what does Zap mean? Click elements on the page to zap them. So I can decide to zap that element and then zap this box. And that gets rid of that horrible um, uh, Twitter thing. Like sometimes Twitter has the dumbest stuff. And I don't need top articles. I don't I never use that. So I'll zap it and I'll zap it and I'll zap it. And I'll zap. Actually, do I zap that? Yeah, I'll zap this as well. I'll zap this as well. There's a lot to zap here. Um, okay, I think I zapped everything. Do I need anything else here? Uh, I mean, do I not need anything? I use pretty much all these tabs. I mean, lists I hardly ever use, but I mean, like, every now and then I look at it. Books, more bookmarks I never use, but, you know, you could use it once. <laughs> this is so much fun. What is this light mode? What's light mode? Okay, what's this do? Reset to original colors. Maybe I'll do that. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, size. 125%, 150, 90, size. Okay. Code. So I can write some CSS or I can write some JavaScript. Boost with JavaScript can't be shared. Okay. Um, what's the settings thing? Okay, that's contrast. Oh. <laughs> I can make the contrast. <laughs> Like less than 100%. I can turn up the brightness. <laughs> I can turn down or turn up saturation. What else do I turn down the brightness? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, let's go back to 50 50 for everything mostly. Okay, good. And yeah, I'm not very talented at creating boosts, I think, as you can probably tell. So let us reset this. Reset everything. How do I reset everything? Uh, let's just delete this boost delete okay good and then what we shall do is we shall go to the boost gallery and figure out what we want so there are a lot of twitter ones maybe we can try to uh do one of the twitter matches uh, arc boosts get boost 
All right. Now my... Wow. Now Twitter matches my arc theme. This is actually really cool. So you can see all my mentions. Uh, I don't know what this person is saying. Um, but this is actually very cool. Let's search something. Let's search... Uh, Sarah Simons. I mean, this is another Twitter account. Let's just say hi. Okay. What comes up? Oh, this is cool. Hmm, but you can see it's a little bit broken. So, I mean, obviously, like, not everything is going to be uh, in tip top shape. But, oh, I should, probably shouldn't uh, reveal my tweets because I have some subscriber only tweets that you can see if you. Uh, Subscribe to my Twitter account. <laughs> okay, but let's. I don't really like this to be honest. It's kind of ugly. So let's uh, delete this. Delete this boost. And let's go back to boost and see what else is there. I'm going to go into full screen mode because then I can see more. Mini Google. I mean, I see the uses for that, but eh. I would rather just have other ones. Matte Black for MKBHD. That seems cool. I'll try it YouTube in a bit. Uh, Internet blue dot na. What's that? This boost is for www.arie.na. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, fix that for you. No YouTube shorts, please. Uh, simple Gmail. Twitter premium. What's this? Let's try Twitter Premium. <laughs> Notifications, messages, list, profile, more. This is cool. Okay. It just makes everything lowercase, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's actually really funny. So it just takes all the text and lowercases it. <laughs> Wait, this isn't sort of trending tab. That's kind of dumb. What do you want to know to trending tab? Like, what, where's the search? Search. You need search on Twitter. This is get sort of search. And trending. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this one immediately. Okay. Uh, Twitter premium. We shall delete this boost. There should be a slightly easier way to delete boosts. I mean, actually, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go back to boosts. Ava Twitter. Ah, uh, that's ugly. What about cozy Twitter? Nah, that's there's too much blank space there. New dog every hour. That's Ratbot in a nutshell. Uh, infatuation, distraction free YouTube. Hmm. Lowercase LinkedIn. <laughs> um, woozy WhatsApp. Aqua Spotify. But that's for the Spotify website. I use Spotify app. Mm. Apple Music Classic. Hobbit Tunes. Stripped Spotify. Slacker News. <laughs> this is so cool. So, I mean, maybe I'll make one or two boosts and submit them. But I would actually be really interested to see what changes people can make to the JavaScript to certain websites with boosts. Because although you can't share them, there'll probably be tutorials online made about how you can do it. And maybe to end this, I'll uh, go on YouTube and try out this one. Well, this is really cool, actually. How do I do dark mode, though? Uh, let's go on here. And... There. Okay, I'm on dark mode. This is cool. I actually really like this. Let's click on a video and see how it is. Anybody here ever had a long and delightful finish? Nope. Don't say that. Okay. Premium content. Okay. I probably should have clicked on a video. It's kind of inappropriate. Hmm. This is not that great, you see, because, um... The gradient doesn't mesh. So what I think I'll do is I'll remove ambiguity. Yeah, there it is. Okay, if, 
So with this thing, you have to remove the ambient mode on YouTube. Mm, and also when you scroll up, they need to do some fixes here because you can tell that it's uh, just a skin because it doesn't uh, extend to above the screen space. Yeah, it doesn't even extend to the uh, sidebar. You see here when I zoom in that it goes in, when I zoom out, it's black. Right, so this doesn't extend to a lot of things. <laughs> it's kind of a, it needs a lot of fixes, but still this is very cool. The comments are really nice, but everything's in caps lock. It's actually really cool, I like this. Let's see some of my videos, see how some of my videos are. So, uh, my channel. <clears throat> I have made a tune for you, all of you to listen to. Here it goes. Yeah, I'm stopping before I sing. Okay. This is actually a very cool extension. I might keep this one for a bit. It doesn't really uh, change the functionality of YouTube. Wait. I think it did remove the shorts feed, though. No, she noted it. It's still here. Okay. Because I mean, now that shorts is actually use useful. But I think I'll end it on Twitter. So thank you all so much for watching. This is actually really cool to see. And I hope you enjoyed this as well. And if you can get ARC, get it. Just just get it. If you have a Mac, just find a way to get ARC. It's such a good browser. It's so much better than any other thing. It's on Chromium. So all your favorite Chrome extensions work on ARC. But it feels just like a better Safari. So just try out this browser if you can. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all later. Bye.